I have now posted two videos concerning the rapture of the church. Believers who are not lukewarm, believers who have enough oil in their lamps, meaning who have enough Holy Spirit. When we look at Matthew 25 again, there were ten virgins. They all knew the groom. They all knew about the wedding that was to be taking place. So these were all believers. They were not non-believers, curious. Unbelievers do not believe in a groom. They don't know anything about a wedding. It is the Christians. It is the believers who know about a wedding. So these virgins all knew about this wedding, about the groom. They all knew about Jesus, we could say. And they went to this wedding, but only five got in because five did not have enough oil. Again, oil stands for Holy Spirit. If we don't have enough Holy Spirit in us, if we are not filled with the Spirit of God to a point where we are so connected with Jesus, then we will not get into the wedding. We don't shine brightly. We, a lot of Christians' lamps have gone dim. They don't shine brightly for Jesus Christ. They're full of the flesh and led by the flesh and by this worldly world with all its enticing deceptions and temptations. So we need to get with the program and make sure that we have enough oil in our lamps. Something else concerning the rapture that is very important to understand. The rapture is a great blessing. It's not just a quick way to get out of here. It's a blessing to the whole world as God is shouting, literally shouting to the whole world saying, look, I am here. I am who I am. This is such a miracle. The rapture, it will impact everyone. The whole world will be affected by it. And God is shouting one more time to the world saying, choose you this day whom you will serve, Joshua 24. Another thing about the rapture to understand, when we look at revivals in the past, they always happened during a time of persecution. We could say the more pressure is put on the church, the more the church gets with it, gets with the program and focuses on Jesus and pushes into Jesus. It is when persecution comes that the church explodes and spreads, as we have seen in the early church. The early church underwent major persecution. And what happened? The church exploded. It spread throughout the whole world. And again, because of the rapture, That is why the rapture needs to come before the great tribulation of seven years. Because of the rapture and the chaos that will uh, be created because of it worldwide, the church will again explode. The lukewarm Christians who are left behind will get with it and will get off the fence and will press into Jesus because they have known the truth in their heads, not in their hearts, but in their heads. And now they realize what happened and they will bring in a a great, great end time harvest. Again, this is the reason why the rapture cannot happen after the tribulation. God will not be sitting back and watching the church go under, deceived by the devil, who is the prince of this world, influencing anyone and everyone who does not submit to Jesus wholeheartedly. God is going to shout one more time to this whole world, which is the rapture. People will now understand that this God of the Christian church is real. And the believers left behind, remember, even the demons believe that Jesus is who he says he is. Believing in our heads that Jesus is the Christ doesn't mean anything. It, what matters is our hearts. Jesus said in 1 Samuel sixteen seven that man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart. And Jesus rebuked the Pharisees, saying, With their lips they worship me, but their hearts are far from me. Away from me, you evildoers. It is important that we understand we cannot play games with God. We need to get with it. We need to go on our knees and repent and make our relationship with Jesus Christ right. 
God isn't just a gracious, merciful God. Yes, he is. He is love. He loved us so much that he gave his only son. But he also is a great almighty king who will come to this earth and defeat the devil. It takes an almighty king to defeat the devil. We don't want a God who is, who is like Santa Claus as Many preachers portray him to be. Just give him a list of all that you want and he's going to give you whatever you want. That's not the God we serve. That's not the God of the universe who created all this. He is much more than just merciful. Yes, he is that. He's loving and kind. Certainly he is. But he is also an almighty God who will right all the wrongs of this world. He will defeat the devil. By his sword coming out of his mouth, with his words, he will defeat him one day soon. And this is the God we serve. And this God deserves our full respect. The fear of the Lord is only the beginning of wisdom, Proverbs. So let us get with the program. Let's not be lukewarm. There will not be enough oil in our lamps if we make Jesus an add-on. He needs to be the all-in-all. He needs to be our main focus in life. And everything else shall be added on. So let's all be ready for this rapture, which is a wonderful event for the whole world, where God gives us one more chance to make things right. It will not be a walk in the park when you are left behind. It's not over yet, but it won't be a walk in the park. There will be great persecution, but that's the time when the church will rise up once again. One last final time, just like the church rose up in the beginning. And it will spread again, and there will be a great, great harvest of many souls. So let's look up and be ready for Jesus' return. And please check out my other two uh, videos on the topic of the rapture. There's lots in it. And share it with your friends, share it with believers who have not made a strong commitment to Jesus. We don't want anyone to be left behind and go through the seven-year tribulation. But again, this is not the end. The tribulation is a harsh time for the uh, believers that are left behind, but still, it is not too late. So please share all this with your friends and family. One final thought, and I have explained this in detail in one of the other videos, why the rapture cannot happen after the seven-year tribulation, why the church is not subject to God's wrath. The uh, tribulation is, the, is Jacob's trouble, Israel's trouble. The church is not under God's wrath. A true believer in Jesus Christ, a spirit-filled person, is not under God's wrath because he has the Spirit of God in him. If God would pour out his wrath on such a person, it would be like pouring out his wrath on himself. It doesn't make sense. The church, the true Christians we're talking about, not just believers who believe in their heads that Jesus is the Christ, but the true church is not under God's wrath because they have his spirit in them and they are a new creation already and they will be in the wedding. So please check out the other two videos.